NFL Sunday Ticket is now on YouTube and YouTube TV, which means that you can stay close to your team even if you don't live in their town. Like, maybe you're a Raven who married a Seahawk who got a job in the land of the Falcons. With NFL Sunday Ticket, you can watch your team's out-of-market Sunday afternoon games no matter where you live because you shouldn't have to change teams even if you change towns. NFL Sunday Ticket, now on YouTube and YouTube TV. Go to youtube.com slash presale to get $50 off. Terms and embargoes apply. Offer ends 919. No refund. Subscription auto renews. This is the House of Hockey podcast on the Hockey Podcast Network. Hockey is more than a game. It's a lifestyle. It's you, the diehard supportive fans, your favorite players who are on the team you cheer for and the organization who supports them. The companies that make your gear, bags, and beer league sweaters, the hockey moms and hockey dads, and everything else that makes this house of hockey your home. Come on in. I'm Breezy. And I'm Ray Ray. And And this this is is our house. house. Welcome back to the House of Hockey podcast, episode 128. We have no idea what this episode's going to be called yet, but I'm one of your hosts, Breezy. <laughs> and I'm one of your hosts, Ray Ray. It's going to be called like Hot Mess Holiday Express or something. because It's got to be. It's hol- got to be. <laughs> Coming off the holiday weekend, the long weekend, I fully disconnected, refused to do any additional work after Wednesday at 5 p.m. And I'm not mad about it. Like I got a busy couple of... T- two weeks coming up here with work and travel so yeah I took the R&R what about you uh kind of the same a little bit um uh, obviously still posting on our social and, and keeping up with that but yeah I mean this time of year is always busy for everyone I I think and especially people in I think our field marketers and just people who are out in public and oh my gosh black friday shopping that is gnarly did you go like the workers no i oh, stayed home i, I stayed don't go home. either yeah no but like i was thinking i was just like can you imagine having like i've had to do it before but like right now like i just hate people so much that i feel like i would just freak out <laughs> i don't blame you i i have very little patience i would have very little patience for that yeah. especially mm-hmm. after the day after thanksgiving but no, I never had to work a Black Friday, but I did do online shopping. But I started on Wednesday. Like the yeah. uh, the Black Friday sales are now like Wednesday through Monday or Tuesday. So yeah. I just bought stuff I needed. I bought because it was on sale and I was like, well, right. I need that. So I'm going to buy that. And then, mm-hmm. you know, nobody's really working like in the warehouses, I don't think. So I didn't feel so right. bad. <laughs> but like also yeah. Friday might be a regular work day for some people, maybe not. Yeah. And I bought a couple Christmas gifts for the the necessary people, and I'm basically done. Like oh. I just just bang it out, and I'm done. I don't have to think about it. That's smart. I'm usually done by now, but I just don't know what to get people, and I have like two gifts. But that's okay. That's okay. we'll figure it out. I mean, I only have to shop for two people, so oh yeah, that's <laughs> and yeah. Ringo is pretty easy to shop for. So yeah, I have like 10 I got to get. So yeah, see, that's hard when it's so many people. Yeah. How come you guys don't do this? Like for the adults, you know, a lot of adults do the secret Santa or like you pull a name and you just are buying one gift for one person instead of having to buy for all the adults. Yeah, we used to do that. And then we always get together with like the whole family on Christmas Eve and we usually just like kind of do like gift exchange. And mm-hmm. the last few years we were like doing everyone gets a gift for everyone, but like $15 or under just to like make it small. Cause like no one needs anything. Like it's just more of like a fun little thing. Um, and then this year, I think we're just going to do like a, like a white elephant kind of thing, mm-hmm. but like we have like a dollar amount, but like it's a good gift, but everyone right. will just bring one. So like we're not buying for everyone. But that's like with my my brother's side of the family and my sister's side. But like my sister's side is still buying for like my parents and I. And yeah, so like and then I'm obviously living at their house. So like I'm still going to buy for like my sister and my nephews and stuff. So I guess I'm not getting as many gifts as I would, but I still have four nephews and my parents and it's it's tough. Yeah, but it's fine. It'd be good. Yeah, I like a- keep it minimal. Keep it simple. 
I like, yes, I like a simple holiday. It's quite nice. And yeah. Uh, yeah. So got that all squared away. I made homemade pumpkin pie from scratch for the first time ever, wow. including the crust. And it Whoa. was perfect. Like wow. the, the exact way you want pumpkin pie, nothing crazy, nothing. It was pumpkin pie and it was fantastic with a little bit of cream. Check it off the box. Wow. Yeah. Impressive. Did you cook anything? No. You didn't do any barbecuing or deep frying turkeys or anything? No, I was vetoed. Why? Just they wanted to keep it simple. And my sister's side of the family, they like tradition. So they like the traditional like roasted turkey. Um, So no, I, I didn't do anything. But I did see a recipe where uh, they did like an El Pastor turkey. Uh huh. So I was like, "Oh, we should do that." And they're like, mm, "No, like it's a lot of like weird stuff." Uh, but my sister allowed me to uh, put a pineapple inside the turkey. So I wow. showed the pineapple of the turkey's butt, which was pretty fun. <laughs> Did she make you take the innards out too, or no? No, no. She had she, she had full range. She just kind of let me carve the turkey or carve the uh, the pineapple and do my thing and then I seasoned it I'm a big I, I yeah. season things pretty well so um I used her seasonings but like I just did the seasoning part of it so nice mm-hmm. and verdict was it was freaking delicious I don't like turkey really like I like roasted turkey like it just doesn't do it for me but uh this one was really good I actually had more last night for leftovers but yeah it was good as, as we all are eating turkey and leftovers yeah. still today yeah. as this episode yeah. comes out the thought of turkey is like all right no more turkey speaking of um no more turkey i think we should talk about the biggest headline in my opinion of the week and then you can tell me if you agree if if this was the biggest shocker or like biggest news of the week Ryan Reeves asked for a trade from the New York Rangers and got sent to the Minnesota wild. I was like, hello, what am I reading? What happened? No, this is a joke. This isn't, this isn't real. He did. He was healthy. Reeves was healthy scratch for the, for eight of the past 12 games for the Rangers. And he was like, I'm not doing this. Like I want to play. And so he said, deuces, get me out of here. And his agent got him a contract in Minnesota. He's reunited with his pal from Vegas, Marc-Andre Fleury. And he's definitely giving Minnesota some of that extra muscle. So maybe Moose can just score goals and not have to fight everybody, like not have to fight Ryan Reeves, which is also super funny because of that super famous photo that happened earlier this season when the two of them uh, we're fighting. It's like this epic photo that I'm sure you saw online of um, Reeves and, and Moose going at it. But I was stunned. This was this came out of nowhere. And over the holiday, too, it just squeaked in. Yeah. And I was like, what? Wait a second. What's yeah. happening here? Were you just as shocked or no? Yeah, I actually was. I was like, I didn't think that he I thought he wanted to be in New York and yeah. But I mean, if you get scratched that many times, like, it's like, why? Like, why are you getting scratched? What's, I mean, we'll never know the the reasoning probably, but um, you can't set a guy like that out. Like, you need him on your lineup. I think the Rangers are definitely going to miss him, um, which reminds me, I need to watch more Ranger games. I, I just, you know how hard it is to watch a game? <laughs> it is. I still haven't tuned into a Devils game yet. I'm sorry, everybody, but I promise yeah. I will, and I will provide some some real feedback some feedback there but uh yeah I saw him go to mini and I was like dang toughest team in the league right now I don't even care if people can fight me on that one but um it's it's got to be true I mean between Moose and Revo like it's got to be true I know I just I'm here for it I was just so shocked do you think there was a bigger headline like a more shocking development over the holiday week I don't think so I think that was probably the biggest one. Uh, The other headline that 
I got two headlines that really pissed me the hell off, but okay. we'll stick with the one for right now. <laughs> Devils fans started throwing stuff on the ice. Oh. I, I, no. No. The only thing allowed on the ice is a hat for a hat trick, a catfish if you're in Nashville, and that's only if you, like, got a big win, right? So it's a positive throwing something on the ice. Only yep. positive things are allowed to be thrown on the ice in positive yep. moments. Not when you're mm-hmm. pissed off and you're throwing your junk on the ice. Right. I would be... I would be irate if I was a Devils fan right now and that Definitely. people were doing that. Yeah, for sure. That, I, just, I don't just understand like the point of it. Plus, like it delays the game, then your team's in tr- like at risk for getting a delay of game penalty, which is going to make things worse. And then it's like, it's disrespectful, I think. It's very disrespectful. They need yeah. to get it together a little bit. And I'm sure they're going to come at me for this, but I don't care. I can take it. One minute you're yelling fire, Lindy. The next minute you're saying sorry. Now you're throwing stuff on the ice. Why don't you is like do something better for your team? And like they're playing really well right now, and they look like they're gonna continue to play really well if all of their top players can stay healthy and continue on this path and keep this rhythm going. So I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed in the Devils fans. Yeah. And Jack Hughes just scored a, his first career hat trick. And it's like, right. You're still. It's huge. It it's is huge. huge. Um, they're, they've won the 14 of the last 15 games. Incredible. Like, yeah. Like we're in this for the long haul, right. As hockey fans. And I think they, somebody needs to slap them upside the head, these fans and be like, get it together because this is not how this works. You know, like I went to a very expensive Bruins Blackhawks game knowing that my team was going to get their asses handed to them, but I'm still there. I'm still repping my team. I'm still cheering them on and I'm still supporting them, even though they're having a tough go and I'm not throwing stuff on the ice. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. This is not the business. I'm not here for that. Mm -mm. Um, Also, their coach, Lindy Ruff, got his 800th victory uh, the same night that Hughes got a hat trick. So very uh, man. Jersey's doing something special over there, minus their fans uh, throwing stuff on the ice. And (laughs) I mean, you could say fire the coach. You can do all the chance you want. Um, That's part of the game. I get it. But uh, <laughs> there's, I got to watch a game. I don't know what's happening over there. I got to watch it. I know. I'm going to put it on my to-do it, list this week. Wasn't it the Islanders fans last year that were throwing stuff on the ice? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah. It just, this is not okay, guys. It's not okay. This is not part of our culture. This is not part of our community as hockey fans. And I won't stand for it. Stop throwing no. stuff on the ice when you're pissed off. You can only throw stuff when it's a good thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. You want to go get little pitchforks and smuggle them into the arena. And then when you guys win, <laughs> you throw them on the ice. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Okay. Like figure That's something out dangerous. like that. Like plastic ones. Oh, but yeah, I guess throwing them over people's heads. Whatever. <laughs> a, a fuzzy devil tail from a Halloween costume. Fine. You know, like just not that all right i'm done yeah. on, on that topic okay <laughs> are you sure <laughs> yeah you gotta let me i gotta let it go let's okay. move on to the nashville predators oh yeah did, did you, you see, see the the video of their uh their media room and locker rooms and everything yeah pipe burst flooding they said i thought i read somewhere that said three feet of yeah. water on the main concourse which is wild that's a lot of water and there's a ton of water and it's leaking into the all of the underground i mean that's got a poor nashville man they i mean they've dealt with with floods i mean obviously the river you know did that big flood back when and tornadoes, now you got this yeah the tornadoes I, yeah 
the flood i think in general was the most like devastating one um but i think that was back in what 2014 12 14 i think it was i don't know you should probably know that but um yeah i mean how long are they going to be out i mean i know things they're they're planning on working really hard on, on getting it going but so, they so far didn't play two games yep and then um, there was some other uh college or high school level games that were supposed to be there that had to be moved and postponed they're supposed mm-hmm. to resume on tuesday activities at bridgestone arena okay the city's working with them to help yeah you know turn off the water and Mm-hmm. eliminate any of the damage it'll be yeah. interesting to to hear from preds fans when they are back in the building if they can tell that anything happened or not but it yeah. just sucks you know you don't want to it see that suck. and that actual that arena is so cool like it just feels so i mean i'm probably a little bit biased but it feels so like homey and like you just get like this cool little like and it's like small but like big at the same time and yeah it just sucks to see something like that. i mean it sucks to see it happen to any any league or any team and but i mean nashville obviously hits home to me so yeah just think- sad and I, I saw someone had posted that they had flown from switzerland to england to here because they were gonna they wanted to bring like their son to to a hockey game and it obviously got canceled so they came from switzerland to england to here and they're like yeah well, we can go to the titans game on sunday so i guess it works but it just sucks when like people travel to go to teams and like certain i mean it happens to people all the time games get postponed and yeah um but unpredictable things happen all the time do you think this break in their schedule is going to help them improve their standings i think that they I mean, Roman did a a video the other day. I don't know if you saw it. Um, And he says they're just excited to get back and thanks for the support in the city of Nashville and the fans for for still sticking by them. But I think when you go through something like this, like, you know, you have two games to now make up at some point, which is going to really put a a damper on their schedule because they're going to have to squeeze them in at some point. They might be doing some back-to-backs, which might be tough in the long haul. Um, But coming out the gates, I mean, they, I would assume they've still been practicing in Fort Ice or, or somewhere that they've, because I don't think that, no, it's just Bridgeton that was affected. Yeah. I don't know why I keep thinking that, like, the whole city. <laughs> don't mind me. Anyway, um, I hope. I yeah. hope so. I mean, they were doing pretty well uh, the last few games. Uh, they just kind of, they have some weird issues where, like, they do really good, and then it's like something slips, and, like, you can't pinpoint it on a certain line or a certain player uh the internet likes to but it's it's tough i mean it's a team sport right so um i hope they come back i I hope i mean roman's not having the best year either so i i hope that he can get something something going i don't know if it's the new baby keeping him up at night or something but (laughs) he's got enough money to hire a night nurse i think he's gonna be okay oh his wife's at home with the other one but yeah even yeah. so there's nothing wrong with hiring a night nurse so you can yeah. function as a human being and get six hours of consecutive sleep i'm all yeah. for it so. yeah this week's episode of the house of hockey podcast is brought to you by hockey fans light the lamp this winter with DraftKings sportsbook an official sports betting partner of the nhl New customers can bet just $5 pregame money line on any NHL team to win their game and get $150 in free bets if they do. If that wasn't enough excitement, you could turn small bets into bigger payouts with the same game parlays. Combine multiple bets like which team will win, how many goals will be scored, and more for your shot at even bigger payouts. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code THPN, bet $5 on any NHL team to win their game, and get $150 in free bets if they do. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code THPN. It's THPN for the Hockey Podcast Network. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Have you shopped at Pure Hockey? They are America's largest hockey retailer with dozens of stores 
and the option to shop online. If you or any of your kids play hockey, Pure Hockey is the place to find just about all of your equipment, skates, sticks, gear, bags, jerseys, and accessories. Plus, Pure Hockey is one of our affiliate partners. Next time you break your hockey stick or your kid grows out of his skates, why not check out purehockey.com? While you are looking for hockey equipment, you can also browse around for merchandise from your favorite NHL team, you know who Breezy's and mine are, and make gift giving even easier for your hockey loving friends and family. And do us a favor, use our special link for purehockey.com when you browse the site and make a purchase because we'll receive a small commission, which helps me and Breezy create this podcast. Head to the episode's show notes for the special direct link to shop at purehockey.com. Your favorite, one of your favorite musicians making headlines as well again oh, this week. Yeah. Justin Bieber uh commented on an Instagram post that he loves the Sharks reverse retro jersey. He said Leafs Forever. Oh, actually I have it right here. I should probably just quote him here. Leafs for life, but these jerseys are fire. Which was really funny because I had a dream about Bieber last night. And then like, it was probably because I saw that last night and then I had a dream <laughs> about Bieber. And then like, now I'm talking about it again. But uh, we had our own comments on the uh, the Sharks jersey this past weekend. Um, I said it looked like a throwback 90s candy bar wrapper like rapper or something. What did I say? I don't it know. was I the zebra gum. You, me, and our friend Alma were talking about it on our group chat about yeah. how it looked like the colors from that. It was called like zebra stripe gum or something. It just had yeah. this like really ca- like pastel y like colors. Yeah. Yeah. This crazy sort of uh cartoon zebra that was very happy about chewing gum. Yeah. <laughs> the packet, I feel like. Which is, like, I mean, the more I see these jerseys on the ice, like the Seattle one was super cool. The Vegas one, they just, uh, the NHL network, or NHL, I saw it on TikTok, obviously. Why wouldn't obviously. I see it on TikTok? Um, the Vegas one where they're like walking out and it's all glowing. I'm like, okay, this is kind of sick, but I shouldn't say that because I don't want to like them. But <laughs> yeah, they were, it was a fun moment, but you couldn't see them glowing in the dark on the ice when they played. So it was no. just, and like, you could barely see it when they walked through the tunnel anyway. Yeah. I was like, I mean, it's cool. It's a fun little party trick and something to get the crowd excited for. But most of them I'm not here for, as we as we know. But I feel like seeing them on the ice gives you like a different vibe. Like I obviously said, yeah. I mean, the Kings, like I said, we've seen a million of those Kings jerseys. Um, but when like you saw them on the ice, I was like, okay, those are cool. Yeah, when you I'll have the whole them. team and you, it's like a bigger thing yeah. and you have the opposing team also in the reverse retros, it's yeah. a little bit more intriguing. Yeah, I mean, the so Sharks in general, it. like it just, I just didn't like it. But like them on the, like, I wasn't like, oh, that's terrible. Like, I hate it. But like, because you saw all of them on the ice, but I was like, I just don't think I like it. I just don't think I like it. Yeah. I'm with you. Yep. I'm also, I'm coming to a place of acceptance of having Justin Bieber in the conversation of the hockey world. Not so, like, it's, it's okay, but also, like, I don't want it to get out of control. Like mm-hmm. this is this is just enough. And like I'm yeah. glad the Pete Davidson thing's over. He doesn't belong. I got it. I'm not here. I'm happy for. I'm glad Ryan Reynolds is in this conversation of of ownership with the Ottawa Senators. He keeps getting asked about it. He's doing media for a movie right now, and yeah. he won't give an answer yeah. about anything. And Will Farrell was like, we are interested in buying the Ottawa Senators for $1,000. <laughs> He's a big Kings fan, as you know. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, obviously, Ryan Reynolds, I don't think can own the team outright. He said that initially, he doesn't have enough right. money to buy it. He would need to put together a, a partnership or a management kind of right. group situation. But hey, I, I think it's great. I hope it happens. But like that kind of conversation, I'm good. I can have mm-hmm. a Ryan Reynolds in my hockey world. A Bieber. A dabble of Bieber is okay. There was a while there it was like a little too much influence and I, I needed a little break from it. And so now it's okay. It's okay. 
Okay. Well, I'm glad. I have to complain about something for just a second. Well, I have okay. two things to complain about. What's new? What else is new? Not one, but two friends of our podcast both got pucks this weekend. I did not give them get get them taken away and given to a child. And I was like, this is so unfair. Why am I the only one who doesn't get the puck? Now, our one friend, she had to kind of be a little aggressive because somebody, some adult was going to just give it to some kid because they don't know what they're doing and they don't understand hockey fans. And like, it's not just about little kids here. Okay. Us adults are allowed to have pucks. And then our other friend had got one in the middle of the game and the guy pointed to her and threw it over. And it was like intentionally meant for her. And like, when that happens, all the other people around need to just back off. Like you, you just got to back off because you know what? We're there way sooner than you are before the game starts. We've made signs. We're posted up on the glass. We're trying to get their attention. And then you just snatch that away and give it to somebody who's not been putting in the time and the commitment just because they're a kid. It's not enough for them. It's not okay. I mean, I like, I'm super happy for our friends because they <laughs> deserve it. But also like, when is it going to be my turn? Well, I don't know. I guess you got to go to another game and find out. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know if I can handle another Bruins game right now. <laughs> it's the, that you know price what's point. Funny? I, so this was back in probably 2016, 2015. I had season tickets and I brought one of my best friends, Lucas, to a game with me one time. We got there super early. Uh, we were sitting. Uh, we were like the only ones in the arena at this point like we were there real early gates had just opened and we were sitting there we're just waiting for for the boys to come out for for practice and they did they came out for practice we were on the glass we were you know sitting there watching them having a good time he lucas was loving it he was like oh yeah because he's like a hype man he's like no like dj's going he's like pounding on the glass like to the beat and like he's having a great time and then afterwards, uh, they start cleaning up the pucks, you know, and um, he's asking for them. And one of the guys comes over and throws him a puck. But, like, we're on, like, the end board. So, like, he has to go through, like, the netting. And then he asked one for me. And he, the guy threw one up and gave one over to me. It was just, like, one of the workers. Uh -huh. and But they were just plain black pucks. But they were the practice pucks. But now... They're doing practice pucks with actual printing on them. So I feel like I have a vintage puck that I can't even say is from an actual like practice because it has nothing on it. You got a puck. I'd Lucas love. got a puck. Come on. Yeah. Yep. I'm the only one. I feel You're like. the only one. I've never had a player like throw me a puck, which would be way cooler. But... For sure. But you still technically have a puck. I also understand what you're saying, and it's not the yeah. same now because they now print on the pucks, like, right? Official the only, game. Yeah, the only printed puck I have is I actually bought it from the Kings Care Foundation. It's a practice puck, but it was a Preds versus Kings. It was a Halloween game. Oh, cool. Uh, that was a long time ago, too. But I had to purchase that one through. I think it was Bailey's Buddies at the time. Yeah. Um, that doesn't but it goes count. to it goes to you no, know, it doesn't count. But I had to have it. Obviously, it was super cool. Um, one day I will get a puck, hopefully from like Roman or something. I still want him to sign my jersey. So we got to figure that one out for you. Yeah. Yeah. Or the giant life size poster of him yeah. that you have. That one is autographed though. That oh, one is. It is. Yeah. Right. You just can't see it. He he autographed it in gold, and oh. then they like, rolled it on up, and it's like really because it's vinyl. So like it kind of oh. like rubbed off a bit. So trying to yeah. preserve that. It will be going up in the new house though, because we have a game room. We're gonna have a sports room and I'm gonna put like a bunch of memorabilia in there. So nice. Yeah. Okay, I got one more bone to pick. Okay. And it's with the Islanders. Listen, uh -oh. I love Islanders fans. I'm here for it. Yeah. I think it's more so with the organization. Mm-hmm. They did a 
gender reveal at the hockey game. Hmm. A baby gender reveal on the Jumbotron. No. No, 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 no. No, we're not doing this. No, that is overhyped as it is with that whole nonsense. And it should remain at home with your family in your own space. But involving the team and a bunch of people who are sitting there and paid good money for entertainment, don't give a flying you-know-what about your baby's gender. And I don't want to see it. Like, I don't want to... No, no. You can pay and have the mascot come to your house and do a reveal, okay? That's what you do. You don't bring this into the arena. It's like not okay. In any, I was like, ugh, this is too much. It's too much. You got a fake proposal. Now you got a gender reveal. And then I think there was a real proposal. It's like, that's all you guys got there? No, 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 no. Figure something else out. This is not okay. Yeah. And let me tell you something. I'm planning on going to an Islanders game, hopefully this season in the winter. If I see any of these things happening while I'm there, I'm going to be pissed. Pissed. You're just going to see Ray just like jump in front of the camera. No, 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 no. This does not happen here. I am a reporter and we do not do these things. It's so unnecessary. It's so yeah. unnecessary. It's it's like one thing to put, you know, happy birthday messages on the Jumbotron, you know, and and things like that or congratulations on 50 years. That's fine. You know, you play that during pregame. I don't give a hell about that, you know, but no. No. To each their own, I suppose. No, I want I mean, that's I want... not my my forte. No, I want military salutes or yes, family yeah. reunions or um, people deserving of applause or appreciation from their fellow fans. Not right, this. Yeah. Not this. Yeah. I, I have to agree with you on that one. No. I, it's like, and I, and I like the Islanders and I'm like, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? You're just making it really hard. Did you see mate just jump behind me? He yeah. <laughs> kind of looked like a reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of reindeer and dogs, I will be happy to let you know that I took Ringo to the Christmas tree farm to get our Christmas tree. Uh-huh. And he got a picture with Santa Claus and me. Wow. <laughs> you got to post it. I will on Christmas coming to a mailbox near you for some of my business clients. I think I'm going to send it out. That's so funny. Yeah. I love it. I was like, I get ring. I said, you know, there was no line for Santa. And I said, yeah. um, could could my dog and I take a picture with you? And he went, of course. And I said, okay. So I scoop Ringo up and I'm like, okay, so I'm just going to sit. I'm going to sit on your leg here. Is that okay? I just sat down on his leg. <laughs> like, what am I going to do? Stand there? That's weird. Yeah. So I just sat on Santa's lap. We took a couple of pics and I said, thank you. Oh, he's lucky. Ringo I didn't... didn't go crazy. No, no. Oh, mate would have went crazy. He'd no. be terrified of the beard. Ringo was fine. He he was looking forward, and mommy was holding him. And okay, like, what are we doing, mom? Why are you? What doing a good this boy. Story? He's like this. <laughs> Just like <laughs> big eyes. Paws up, big eyes, like looking at Antony. It was pretty cute. Oh, yeah, that's good. Nice. That's all I got. Same. Nothing new. Another There's Ringo. <laughs> Speaking of, he just comes up the stairs and looks like, Mom, are you in here? Yep. Are you talking to me? Mom, <laughs> you were talking about me. So, all right. Well, have a good week. Peace out, Girl Scout. Thanks for coming over to our House of Hockey podcast and hanging out with us. We'll be back next week with a brand new episode. And in the meantime, you can follow us on social media. Just look for House of Hockey podcast. We'll be back next week.